it is Sunday, November 15th. Deer are running. Um, I'm on my way to Idaho by myself. I'm gonna self-film this hunt, and it's a whitetail hunt. Um, the plan here is I'm meeting up with my buddy Chris Neville from Go Hunt. And we both have whitetail deer tags in Idaho, and then we're gonna come back on the 19th to Bozeman, and then head out in Montana and try and shoot a whitetail over there as well. A lot of people don't think of the West as a whitetail deer destination, and I don't blame them. There's mule deer, there's elk, there's pronghorn, there's bears, there's a lot of stuff that people out east and in the Midwest don't have. But I grew up in Ohio, Chris grew up in Iowa, we're gonna go back to our roots and try and kill some whitetail. I'm kind of nervous about it because I feel uh, a little bit out of my element after the past couple years not chasing whitetail very much. But I got the boomstick and the deer are rutting, so it should be a fun hunt. Probably gonna get there today and try and do a little bit of scouting tonight and then tomorrow we'll hit it hard. I'm looking at spot B and I'm just driving around this last two hours of sunlight and uh, I'm gonna see if I can glass these openings and see if I can pick up any deer. Well, spot B is definitely gonna be a spot B for now. It's definitely not a spot A. Saw a couple tracks. What I really like about this area is there's a lot of public private, but as you can see, what I thought were crop fields are just grassy fields covered in about a foot of snow. Uh, we'll see what Chris is seeing. I'm gonna head into the other town where we're gonna be staying. You better believe that's getting shot tomorrow. All right, just made it to our lodging sitch. Check it out. There in the ass. This trip is supposed to rain and snow the whole time, so we decided to get a Airbnb. So this will be camp, and I'm just waiting for Chris. I haven't gotten a message from him yet. Oh. <laughs> Say what up to the peeps. What's up, peeps? How's it going? What's up, man? What's up? I'm Luke. Uh, Michael, nice Michael, to meet nice you. you. What was the... What's the verdict for today? We saw six does, one baby buck. I saw one baby buck too. One, we almost thought about shooting it. Like, oh, I better leave this one for Michael. I think he wants that one. <laughs> All right, sweet. <laughs> you guys want to get some dinner? Yeah, I'm starving. All right, cool. It's 5 a.m. This is Luke. I called Luke Josh last night. <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing. We're about to go on a 20 minute drive to where these guys saw deer last night. Go on what, like an hour hike? Yep. Hopefully there's more deer. And hopefully there's more deer, so we'll see you in like a little bit. <coughs> like 10 minutes ago, I saw a decent whitetail. <laughs> Spooked him. Spooked. <laughs> Spooked. Basically the way this sets up is there's this huge, I don't know what you call it, a draw. And uh, we've got this crop field behind us. And this is the public, that's the private. That's what we're looking at. Right there, some more crop fields. Hoping to catch some bucks chasing some does and shoot them. Shoot. What do you think, Luke? I think we're gonna get one. Yeah, baby. That's right. That's the vibe I like, Luke. Your camera, man, you gotta have a GFA. Dude, I'm so sorry for calling Josh last night. Oh, that's good. It's that's key guy. to success. He's our hype guy. <laughs> Just a tiny buck. We 
there's glass and stuff behind me and uh saw one doe out there and it's just she's just been bedded there for a while been glassing over there for an hour now and haven't seen anything since so we're gonna go to this knob and glass back kind of towards where we were uh walking in at and spook that buck you're lost bud Chris spotted what an eight pointer? Eight pointer. Nice. Found himself an eight pointer across the canyon here. It's probably it's over sixteen hundred yards because your range finder didn't pick it up, right? Yeah, he's the one, two, three, four. Yeah. That fifth down, like towards the bottom. Yep. By like some orange trees. Give it a whirl. See if he, he's in there somewhere. Just gotta dig him out. That's right. Go get him, baby. There's a doe feeding right there. That's kind of where the buck is. It's getting a little late. I'm looking at Chris through the phone scope. Oh, he's about to shoot. Adjusting. No, he's not shooting it. Huh. I wonder what's going on. It's starting to get really cold and uh, picked up another buck over here. Small guy. Hopefully, he gets a shot off here shortly, but it looks like it may have ran off or something. He's doing some hand gestures. All right, I got a no shot, and I saw him packing up. So I'm gonna head back to the truck and meet him. They got quite a few vertical feet to gain and lose, and maybe I'll see a buck on the way out. But for day one, that's it. We're gonna head back, get some food, and hit it again tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Today's a big day. Today is a big day because we're hunting whitetail bucks. Yes, sir. Bucks. <laughs> We're going to do something different today than what we did yesterday. We're going to go walk on the road, see if we can blast one off of a closed road. See if we can look into some openings, see if we can see some bucks. A little different country, probably more snow. This rooster here has been uh, cockle duty doing. Since it's about... I don't know, since so about 3 a.m. Hey, Buck. Where you at, Buck? It's 724, so it took a while to get up here. The roads, as you can see, are not great. We have a, a bogey. The first spot we wanted to go to, we could not get past the road and I was driving so I wasn't able to film any of it, but I'm gonna go on a nice little walk, see if we can glass some openings, find a white tailed buck and shoot it. I'm excited. There's some moose up here. Oh, look at that. Cow moose. Well, we hung out in this opening for a while. It's not really the kind of country we were hoping for. Bad vibes. Bad vibes, dude. Eerie. Weird in here. It's so big. It's always a part of the deal when you come to a new state that you haven't ever been to, hunting new country. 
just gotta check spots out and check them off the list when they're not what you expect so we're probably gonna head back to where we were yesterday it was kind of a mistake probably to leave deer to find deer I'm gonna hike back to the truck probably take an hour or so to get there and then go look for some deer some other place second day day two morning it's about 9 15 here so as heck uh, we went to that spot earlier the vibe was not great as we were saying it wasn't a good vibe we're going back to where the vibes good we're gonna take a different route we stayed up high last last night yesterday but this morning we're gonna go down on this road um, down yeah being in suit shooting position right away and we're gonna go see if we can find some deer down there might be some quick action but that's what we're about Amen, brother. Amen, brother. Shoot him. quick we were walking looking at some mule deer luke and i and then it came around the corner and saw chris getting his bipod out looked like he had kind of good shot over here from our angle but we couldn't really tell i say we just glass i say we get on this hillside so we can like see up in there you're pretty sure you missed them oh yeah because dude after i shot i got back on the scope and he was like standing, standing there. and then he went down i don't know if like he was running down or but we'll be able to see if we, you know, just side hill it right here. Yeah. We're gonna glass from here. You can see up that draw, a little bit up that draw, and all this stuff. This is where we've been seeing the deer, oddly enough. We got a white tail way, way up on top. It's kind of, I think he's close to that private too. I see a fence in the back. He's just chilling. sun is set and uh, we saw that buck up there so Chris saw Chris has got the eagle eyes today <laughs> I've seen bucks left and right and Chris is seeing all the bucks but uh we're gonna start packing up and heading up heading back out but I think tomorrow is we're coming back here in the morning it's supposed to storm in the afternoon and that's probably the plan what do you think oh I like this spot yeah. it's right we got bucks who knows? There could be bucks on this face tomorrow. They could be on this face, yeah. pushing around. It seems, dude, every time we've walked yeah. in here, we spooked the buck. This is the buck zone. It's weird, isn't it? It's not what you, th I mean, it's not what I think of whitetail stuff. But. Not from back in the Midwest, no. how we used to hum. Yeah. What's going on, buddy? Whoa. That was weird. That was
was magical. <laughs> we're hiking into the spot we were at last night. We're gonna see a buck and shoot him. Let's do it. We're gonna see a buck and shoot him. I'm ready. Oh, I was out of focus the whole time. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. Let's go shoot some bucks. Let's go shoot them. Home sweet home. Time to glass one up before this rain comes in. It's supposed to be rain in here in a couple hours, but we'll see if that actually happens. Um, Wednesday, so this is basically our last day. Mm -hmm. See a mule deer up there. <clears throat> Just a bunch of does. I don't know, I'm starting to get a little nervous. Usually we're seeing them in here. We're spooking them out or something. I think we may have loved this spot to death, but it's the only spot we've seen deer. I thought it was gonna be a lot easier than it has been. We also only allocated three and a half days for this hunt. Usually that's what I, I feel like that's a pretty good number for deer, especially in the rut with a rifle, but may have underestimated this one. It's not over yet. Hopefully one just comes out and we can shoot him. One doe, way up in there. It's been slow. The slowest day we've had so far. The slowest day we've had so far. And it's the sunniest. And it is the sunniest. But it's not gonna be. I just checked the weather. It's gonna start raining, huh? Yeah. I think it's gonna start raining between 2 and 12 and 2. Yeah, So. I don't know really what to do because we're already here. If it takes an hour to get out of here, we're gonna get out at like 10.30. And then what are we going to do? That's right. <laughs> we could just wrap some roads. All right, we're going to pull out a phone and come up with a plan. That's right, game plan time. Because this doesn't seem to be that great. to the truck if you can see behind me there's some of those clouds coming in i think that's a storm that's a brewing we're gonna go check out a small little piece of public maybe do a little push through there and uh see if we can't find it. some white tail bugs sorry it's been so slow but oh, we're uh, getting after it what's up buddy sweaty yeah that last little hill really gets you going doesn't it? it really gets you going it doesn't even look like it's like not even that big but it's like damn i'm sweating he's dripping like me here you go try and find something else there's that storm coming in like why does anyone make just like a really good window mount? Oh, um chris Luke and I decided to split up. Chris and Luke are out hunting another piece. I'm gonna go look kind of further, a lot further away actually. Not finding any bucks over here. So the weather is rolling in right now, as you can see in front of me. So I'm gonna go ahead about an hour away, get out of this weather and hopefully find some deer. If anything, we'll find a spot for tomorrow. hoping to uh, get into. I was hoping to get out of the rain 
Just got to this public piece, and as you can probably hear and see, it's raining pretty hard, and it's snow. It's like sleet rain. So I'm hoping that I can, it'll stop enough for me to be able to glass. If it doesn't clear up soon, this might be it for the night. Check that boy out. Holy smokes. You're lucky, buddy. Hey, bat. Just got back to the house. It's late. Looks like Chris and Luke got wet too. wet moist environment in there look at all the fog in that window cheese and rice all right it's last morning got my rally cap on hopefully the deer are going buck wild <laughs> i'm gonna go sit out on this bench up here and see if i can glass into some of these cuts i gotta leave here in a couple hours so i'm not going too far but we also jump bucks up in here, and this is a really good glassing knob. Hey, there's deer right there. There's deer right there. Are those hunters? Oh, there's hunters right there. We got some hunters right here. There's the team. <laughs> That's it for Idaho. We're gonna head to Montana, hopefully kill some bucks in eastern Montana. Got a long drive today, and then we'll be leaving early tomorrow. Hopefully getting a hunt in tomorrow afternoon. And uh, I know we'll see some deer over there. We always do, so. Looking forward to getting out there.